that's going to stand up here. Oh, you're like super tired. Yeah, you are. You sweat a long way. My name is Charles Bogenberger, uh, C-H-A-R-L-E-S-B-O-G-E-N-B-E-R-G-E-R. -E 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 I work for a company called RJ Reliance. We're a strategic solutions company, and I'm here with my dog, Layla, today. All right, so how relieved are you that you found, well, CPD and their uh, fire, they found Layla? I have been searching for her since Saturday at noon. And I looked all over the park. I had about 10 different people helping me, and we couldn't find her anywhere. So when Chicago called me, my first question was, is she alive? <laughs> and then once I found out, I was like, I'm coming over right away. So we know that you have a chip installed. So did that work? Yes. So um, they recovered her in the middle of Lake Michigan. Apparently, she's a real Michael Phelps. She swam about half a mile into the lake. And the, the fire department, the police department, and the Marine Division uh, helped bring her back. And they took her to West Wrigley Animal Hospital, where they scanned her microchip. Um, I bought it from a company called Pet Established. And they were able to scan the chip and find my contact info to call me and bring her back. Wow. Sorry, Layla's having a little <laughs> accident now. <laughs> And how old is uh, Layla? Layla's about three. So I rescued her back in, her, back in February. Uh, she's a Texas girl. They brought her up from the streets of Houston. Um, I actually adopted her from a shelter called Four Paws for Life in Denver, Colorado. And we just moved here in June 1st. OK, is there anything else you want to mention? Uh, like yeah, um, thanks for everybody who helped me. So the folks at Montrose Dog Beach who posted and helped get the word out. Um, Kasha, Dalton, and Brian, who helped me scan the park and look for her on Saturday and Sunday. I'm really grateful to all the people that got the word out and helped spread the news so that she could be back home with me. So uh, how did Layla come to be missing anyway? What, what, were, what were circumstances around her going missing? Yeah, so we were at the Montrose Dog Beach and um, public service announcement, be really careful with the double gates there because she managed to escape and once she escaped from the double gates because people were you know, leaving them open, uh, it was almost impossible to get her back in. So um, be very careful when you're at the dog beach to close those gates behind you. It's really important. Is she normally really good in the water? I mean, they found her pretty far out in the lake. She loves swimming. I had never seen her swim before in my life. So she's usually scared of the water. And I hadn't even considered the idea that she would break into the water. But you, with a rescue, you learn something new every day. Do you know, do you have any idea how she might have like, ended up in the water? Like, was she chasing a bird or something like that? My guess is she was just running scared. Um, she's, she's very timid. She really doesn't like strangers other than, other than me. So I, I imagine she was just running from somebody and trying to find her way back home. Those days that she was missing, how, how, what were you going through? I was, I was distraught. I was scanning the park. I probably spent you know, the, the vast majority of my weekend in the park looking for her. Uh, there was a little bit of crying. And out of desperation, I was this close to spending the night in the park, just sleeping out there on the lawn, trying to bring her back. Wow. Uh, 
<laughs> so what, what, what's, what's, what are you guys going to do now? Uh, well, I'm going to take her to the vet <laughs> and make sure she's okay. Um, and then uh, she's not going to leave my sight for the next 48 hours. I'm going to make sure that she stays very close by. So uh, no more running to me, Miss Layla. 